Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of edexitvideo.com, a website that provides free medical education videos. In this video, we're going to talk about otitis externa, or swimmer's ear. Otitis externa is an infection in the external ear canal due to an overgrowth of bacteria or even fungi. This often occurs a few days after water gets trapped in the ear canal while swimming or bathing. It might also occur after introducing foreign bodies into the ear canal, like earplugs or q-tips while trying to clean your ears. In doing so, you might abrade the skin, which leads to small cracks that serve as entry points of bacteria to get into the subcutaneous tissue and cause infection. There may be redness in the outer ear and external ear canal, pain, drainage or swelling of the ear canal, and temporary loss of hearing. Home care. Do not try to clean the ear canal with anything smaller than your thumb. This can push pus and bacteria deeper into the ear canal. You must use the prescription drops to reduce pain, swelling, and kill the bacteria causing the infection. If an ear wick was placed in the canal of the ear, apply the drops to the surface of the wick. It will absorb the medication and draw it into the ear, even if it is swollen shut. Do not allow water to get into the ear while bathing or showering. Do not swim while you have this infection. A cotton ball can be placed loosely in the outer ear to absorb any drainage. You may use Tylenol uh, or acetaminophen or NSAIDs like ibuprofen and naproxen to control pain unless another medication was prescribed by your physician to control pain. You can usually prevent this problem by using an eardrop solution that dries out the water from the ear canal if you feel like there is water trapped. You can get these drops without a prescription. Some of the brand names are Swim Ear or Aqua Ear. An ear wick is sometimes placed by the medical profession when the ear canal is so swollen that the medicine might not make it all the way in. This wick creates a passage by which the medicine can penetrate the site of the problem and treat the infection. Antibiotic drops are the main therapy for this condition. However, if the patient has an underlying immune compromise like being diabetic or if the infection is very severe and progressing quickly, then oral antibiotics can also be prescribed. It is very important to make sure the infection is improving and to look for underlying problems that might have led to the infection in the first place. This is why we recommend you follow up promptly with your primary care provider after being evaluated for this condition in the emergency department. You must come back to the ER if the ear pain is worsening or does not go away after three days. If there is redness or swelling of the outer ear, if the, or if the redness is getting worse, if there is headache, stiff neck, drowsiness, confusion, fever, or even seizures. For more videos like this video, please visit edexitvideo.com. But remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the care or attention of a medical healthcare provider.